It's not often a cat is credited with saving a life, but tonight one local couple is telling quite a story. Yeah, this is a pretty cool story. What this cat did after a man started having a heart attack, even has local doctors singing his praises. Kristen Giannis is live in Orlando tonight. And Kristen, this is one of those cases where, you know what, listening to your pet really paid off. Yes, guard. This pet actually started as a stray cat in this neighborhood. He made his way into this home and saved a man's life. Say hi to everybody. This is Buddy, a stray the chaps took in, but a cat who'd become the hero of this house. He was meowing and scratching and jumping and just trying to get my attention. And Jennifer Chap says she was working in her home office when the normally calm Buddy started going nuts. You hear sometimes that animals have these abilities um, to you know, detect different things. Chap picked up her cat and walked to the kitchen where her husband was kneeled over the counter, going into a sudden cardiac arrest. Curled up right here. Chap pulled her husband out onto the kitchen floor and started giving him CPR until paramedics arrived. She says he wasn't breathing. I just waited and just said a little prayer and um, they got a heartbeat. That was the first major hurdle. Six months, a heart procedure, and cardiac rehab. Rick lives to tell his story. I really, really owe my life to Buddy because without him, she would have never come out of that office. Now, only about 5% of cardiac arrest victims survive, and that's because there's a very small window uh, to get them help. Uh, you have to give CPR right away. Guard. And Kristen, speaking of CPR, you mentioned that the man's wife actually did that for him. Is she even certified? No, guard. She actually got her certification tonight. She says when she was actually giving him the CPR, she was humming uh, the BG song Staying Alive in her head. And it's studies show that actually is the perfect um, rhythm uh, when you're giving someone CPR. Yeah. Wow. What about uh, Ted Nugent, Cat Scratch Fever? That might work too, right? I don't know, Guard. I didn't, I didn't see a study about that one, but I'll look into it. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll stick with the Bee Gees. All right. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to picture the tempo in my head. Cat scratch fever or no, the Bee Gees? Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive.